welcome back guys welcome back to my channel today in this video let's do a review on this wondershare demo creator application wondershare demo creator application is a screen recording application which also comes with its own video editor so you can easily use the editor to edit your recorded videos and uh, in this video there is a giveaway also i will give you one year free access for this application all you need to do is look for this icon this symbol appearing on the screen and type in the timestamp where it's appearing on the screen obviously not this one this symbol will appear one more time in the video you just need to type in the timestamp where it start and where it end. Whoever comment first will receive the code for one year free access. Also, I will give a shout out for you guys in my next video. All right. If you are like me doing tutorial videos or presentation recordings or even gameplays, this application comes in handy. So I'm going to do a review on this application and see how it will work and compare to other application. How powerful it is all right so you can go to this website you can find the link under the description below once you go in here you can download this application for free for windows users once you click on this link it will straight away go to the download file and you can see in here and below they will give you the security precaution if your browser is blocking because it's an exe file and how to download and install so i'm just downloaded this one in here and i already installed this one so i'm not going to install this one again you can download wondershare demo creator for free and use it straight away but when you want to export your video it will comes with the watermark if you haven't paid okay so this is a paid version for export but if you want to explore you can download for free and use it for free and try it out first all right so you can see the plans in here for for a single user it's only 23.99 per year and per year it's 23.99 it's nothing or if you want a one-time license for one pc you can get it for 47.99 i think it's reasonably priced i even think it's cheaper so you guys can try it out for free first and then decide whether you want to purchase this one or not all right so i already installed this application so let's load the application i'm going in here and want to share okay this one all right so once you load you will see the screen it's a very simple screen in here you can see two options one is for new recordings and the other one is video editor and you can also open files already saved file from here i don't have any files so i'm just going to close this one okay so let's click on the record video option which will open up this window in here and you can see there is a draggable icon in the center and in here you can see the full screen and the resolution so it's showing the full screen of my screen in here and this is the resolution of my screen you can choose full screen custom defined size or even select the targeted window all right so custom defined size is very simple you can key in your width and height and select move the option by dragging this center icon and target the area you want to choose and the targeted window option is really interesting you can let's say i'm going to open this uh, browser first and let's bring it a smaller like this in here and let's say you want to record only this uh, browser or inside the browser you can choose this option so once you choose this option you can see there is a red uh, dotted lines appearing you can move this line by moving your mouse for an example let's open another window maybe the explorer window it will it can be anything any window you can uh, choose by this option as you can see in here you can even choose the uh, url path area and even the top uh, top portion of the explorer anywhere you want so all the available ui uh, components you can choose by this option all right okay so you guys got got what this means so you can record individual windows or areas or parts of windows uh, if you use this option in here okay so, but for our video we are not going to choose this option we are going to choose the full screen in here so let's select full screen first 
So on the right, you can see other options, recording option, the audio mic uh, volume. And uh, if you are connected with a webcam, um, and unfortunately, I don't have a webcam. So it's showing a message there. There's no webcam available. And below you have the system mic, which is the system volume. You can adjust the system volume from here. And on your left, you have the big record icon and below you can control the recording and pause the recording or stop the recording completely. And you can see the timer below. Okay, these are the basic uh, settings you see for a video recorder. And if you go in here, you can see more settings. The first one is opening up the editor. So now we don't have any files, so we don't need the editor. And the second one will bring the size of the icon smaller. So you don't, uh, it won't cover much of the screen so you can easily see the screen and the third one is a little bit more advanced settings so let's go in there first as you guys can see we have some advanced settings in here first thing is the screen and the size of the screen which is full screen and below we have the frame rate so we can set up the frame rate from here so i usually record 60 frames per second now by default it's 20 five frames per second so i'm going to change it to 60 frames per second below you can choose different type of available games and in here you can see in my pc what are the available options i have the nvidia card option and other things in here so based on your computer it, it will it will show your settings from there so i will switch back to the original screen recorder on top and let's go to the audio and in here you can choose to record or not record audio from capture or don't capture and below you will see your available audio devices in my case there's only one it's the microphone which is uh, linked to the attached to the computer and you guys may see different based on your settings so i will ch choose the default settings for this one and for the camera i don't have any camera setups in here so i'm just going to choose don't record if you have a camera if you want to record your camera also you can choose to record from here and the last uh, setting option is advanced settings. In here, you will see three different tabs. First one is general tab. Basically, this shows where to save your recorded files. You can choose a path from here. Click on this option, which will open up the Explorer. From here, you can choose where you want to save your recorded video files to be. I, will, I, I already choose this path, so I'm going to leave as it is. And in the second option is the video Encode option in here, you can choose what type of video, what uh, type of video format you want to choose. Uh, default one is the H.264 format, which is the normal MP4 file format we use to record videos. And the second option is you can choose a JPG sequence as well. And on the right, you can select different type of qualities, high, medium, or low. I'm going to choose high quality. And if you want image sequence, you can even choose the quality of the image in here as well. And the last one is shortcuts. If you go to the shortcuts, you can see there are some default shortcuts in here for stop or start and pause and resume. These things, you can change whatever the custom shortcuts you want. All right, so I'm just going to leave them as it is. So these are the main settings you will find on the record screen. So go back to the recording screen and close all these windows. We don't need windows. Let's keep it blank and let's start recording. As you guys can see in here, it's showing you three seconds before it starts recording, which is for you to prepare if you are doing an audio tutorial or something like that, which is very cool. Okay, so far this uh, application is really cool. It's working very professionally, no problem. So now we start recording. And for this tutorial sake, I'm going to open Illustrator just to record and see how it will look. And I'm just going to draw something in here. Uh, I'm not going to do a tutorial. I'm just going to see how it's going to look in my final video. Just a circle in here. Maybe let's give a fill color. The color is fine. Maybe another circle. And for this, I'm going to give a green color, a light color. Yeah, this will do. I think let's bring it to the center. All right, this is good enough. So I'm just going to minimize this one. And let's go to the record settings. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video, stop the recording. As soon as I stop the recording, as you guys can see here, it's processing the file and it will open the recorded video file inside its own editor and you guys can see the video recorded video in here 
I can play and see and let's bring it to the timeline below this timeline in here right click and you can add it to the timeline by this first option which will add the video to the timeline as you guys can see here the audio also has been recorded you can see the audio but audio is blank because I didn't record any audio so that's why you don't hear anything but when you click the audio you can see you can bring down the volume you can uh, reduce the noise there are so many options in here you can control for the audio you can even bring the audio volume to zero okay and not only recorded video the cool part is you can even bring in custom video into this uh, editor as well so i have this video in here it's also a 4k 60 frames per second video so i'm going to import this video into our editor so just go in here import from file or folder so i choose the first option and i will just select this one and import which will import the video into here and we can just move in these two behind let's say this is an intro this pretend like this is a tutorial intro you can just place it in here as you guys can see our video is placed nicely it's a hdr video that's why you see some color changes it's fine but you can see our video has been nicely placed in here all right also how about tutorial is visible so i will go through with some of available features in here first one is in here which is a title animation so i'm just randomly choosing one you can have your title animations all these things are customizable for an example let's say you want to change this text just go in and type in here i'm going to type digital art creation and I forget to put the T, it's fine, just a tutorial, all right? So I can bring the text size smaller. And for the below, let's type something like tutorial. Yeah, and yeah, it's look fine. Now, if you play and see, you can see our animation and the video in the background. Okay, so it's a little bit laggy. It's because it's a 4K 60 frames per second animation video so it's normal guys don't worry too much on this as long as you can see and it's you can edit it's fine okay so the other option we can do in here is adding annotations and captions so if you want to highlight or add some text in your video you can easily place the uh, custom shapes and also you can have your own text or there's other, other cool feature in here is animated uh, files like these in here for an example this art shape so if you place this one in here it's not only animating it's also a vector format you can bring it uh, and resize any size you want and now if you play this part and see you can see a nice uh, cool looking animation in here and there are many animations like this some of them are really cool for an example this one in here an explosive animation just place it in the timeline maybe i will place it on top of this circle let's say you want to highlight some portion in your video you can just place it in here and if you play it will look something like that so this kind of nice effects you can add into your video and also there are so many transition effects as well Let's say you want to have a cool transition from the first video to the second video, which is your recorded video. You can choose one of these in here. If you want this flip uh, 3D option, you can just place this in between these two in the timeline. And you can see the transition effects has been changed. It's like rotating with a, like a 3D cube. All right. And also you have some more features and options in here. You can bring the frame to look like a cinema or even green screen option and you can have sound effects like uh, click options and many more and once you have done with your uh, video you can just go in here and save the file this is the edited file you can save it in here and later on reuse him or you can just go in here and export as a video when you try to export, it will ask you to log in with your username and password. And if you have a license, you can straight away export the final video. But if you don't have a license, if you are using a free version, there will be a watermark on the video. But if you want to test and explore this uh, screen recording, try it out, guys, and try it out and see. 
And when you go into export, you can choose the frame rate and the resolution, audio and video type. And also there is one more option in here. You can directly export it to your YouTube channel. So if you are, if you want to export it to your YouTube channel, you can straight away export. Once the rendering is done, it will automatically upload to your YouTube channel, which is a cool feature as well. So in my opinion, this application is really worth it for the price and also it's still growing. There will be more features available uh, in the future and there will be more effects available in the future. So I have tried uh, for 4K 60 frames per second. This is the final output which you guys see in the screen. Uh, to be honest, this output is look exactly like a video from a very professional video editing application which is far more expensive than this price so compare your output you guys can decide for yourself and you guys can try it out link for this application is under the description below please try it out guys and thank you for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial